students in this video we shall learn how to find the lcm lcm is the short form of lowest common multiple lcm of two or more given numbers is the smallest positive number that is divisible by the given numbers we shall do this in detail but before that let me tell you that we can find the lcm by a few different methods the first method is by listing the multiples wherein we write all the multiples and then we find out the common multiples and then choose the smallest multiple. Then the next one is by prime factorization where we find out the prime factors and then we find out the LCM. And the last method is by common division method where we divide all the numbers together and then we find the LCM. So in this video, we shall discuss the last method that is finding LCM by common division method. Now there are a few steps you need to follow to find the LCM. Let's take an example. So for example, I want to find out the LCM of 12 and 18. So first, the numbers needs to be arranged in a row separated by commas. So I will write 12 here comma 18. In some textbooks, the comma is not given. So that is also fine. Follow whatever is given in your textbook. Then we need to find the smallest prime number which divides at least one of the given number. We know that prime numbers are numbers which has only two factors like 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on. So first we try with the smallest prime number which is 2. So we write 2 here outside. 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 9 is 18. Now next again we have to divide by 2. We continue dividing by 2 until we have no multiples of 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 and 9 is not divisible by 2. So it comes down as it is. Now 3 and 9 both are not divisible by 2. So we take the next prime number which is 3. 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 3 is 9. So now uh, we have 1 comma 3. We need to continue dividing until we get 1 at the end. So 3 we take again. 1 comes down as it is and 3 1 the 3. So now I have got 1 comma 1 that means we are done. Now to find out the LCM we need to multiply all these common prime factors. So LCM equals to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 2 is 4 and 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 9 is 36. So LCM of 12 and 18 is 36. Let's take the next example. Let's say I have two prime numbers, say 5 and 11. Now we know that prime numbers, they do not have any common factors, right? One is the only common factor. So then if we want, we can simply multiply 5 times 11 and that would be the LCM like 55 or we can do it the way we did the previous one. That means we write it here as 5 comma 11. The least common prime number that divides at least one number is 5. So 5 ones are 5 and 11 comes down as it is 11. 1 here, 11 ones are 1. We got 1. So we are done. Now we need to multiply these numbers. So that's what we did here, right? So LCM is 55. 5 times 11, 55. So anytime you are given prime numbers, you can simply multiply the numbers and that would be the lowest common multiple of the given set of numbers. Now let's try dividing three numbers. So we need to follow the same steps again. Okay. 
let's say I take 20, 25, and 30. These are the three numbers, okay? So I would write these numbers here, separated by commas in this row. Now, the first prime number, Twenty five is not divisible by two, and two times fifteen gives me thirty. Right? Again, we will try with two. Two fives are uh, ten. Twenty five is not divisible. Fifteen is not divisible. Now we have five 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 at the unit place, so that means none of the numbers would be divisible by two. But 15 is divisible by the next prime number, which is 3. So let's write 3 here. 5 is not divisible. 25 is also not divisible. But 15 is divisible. So we write here 5. Now 5, 25, 5, uh, these numbers would be divisible by 5. So let's write 5 here. 5, 1 is a 5. 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 1 is a 5. Again, we will take 5, 5 1 is a 5, sorry, 1 is already there, so it comes down as it is, 5 1 is a 5, and 1 comes down. So we have got all our 1s, that means we are done, and, and now we shall multiply all these prime factors. So LCM is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. So for easy multiplication, what I can do is 2, 5, 5, 2 is a 10, 2, 5, 5, 2 is a 10. So 10, 10 is a 100, and 100 times 3 is 300. So my solution is 300. 300 is the LCM of 20, 25, and 30. Let's take the example of uh, four numbers now. What we see have four numbers, okay? Let's find out the LCM of 12, 16, 24, 36. So follow the same steps. Arrange the numbers in a row. 12, 16, 24, 36. Start with the lowest prime number, which is 2. 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 12 is 24, and 2 times 18 is 36. Again, divide by 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 9 is 18. Again, divide by 2, 3 comes down as it is, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times uh, 9 is not divisible, so 9 comes down. So you see the numbers which are not divisible would come down as it is in the next row. Next, again, we got a 2 here, so we will divide by 2. 2 ones are 2, 3, 9. Divide by 3, 3 ones are 3, 1 comes down, 3 ones are 3, 3 3 is a 9. 1 3 is left, so again divide 1. 1, 1, and 1. So we have got all 1s at the bottom. So we are done. Now let's find the LCM. Multiply all the common prime factors. LCM equals to, how many times 2 is there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have 2 times 3. So 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 2, 4, and 3 times 3, 9. So 4, 4 is 16, and 16 times 9 would give me 16, 9 is a, if you remember the table, that's good. Otherwise, it's uh, 5, 144, right? So 144 is the LCM of 12, 16, 24, and 36. I hope the concept of finding LCM by common division method is clear to you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.